Welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial on this bronze summer look that I'm wearing right here. This tutorial is special to me because this is an all drugstore tutorial which, can you believe it? I know. I'm one of those people who like really loves high-end makeup. There are just some things in high-end makeup that I just can't let go of. I just, I just can't. But I also believe there are a lot of good things at the drugstore. Like some of the things that I use today are like holy grail products that I use every single day. And other products I bought specifically for this tutorial and I actually really like them. So I think there's always good finds at the drugstore no matter if you have the money to spend or not. You can definitely go to the drugstore and find something maybe not just as good as the high end version but pretty dang similar. I actually really like how this look came out even though it's a very neutral look and you usually don't see that on my channel. I just I really like it. I think it's so appropriate for the summertime. So if you guys want to know how I got this look then please just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with foundation and I'm using my NYX Angel Veil and my Maybelline Baby Skin just to prime. Here I'm using the Angel Veil and yes I applied a lot. This was my first time using it and I didn't really know what was going down but now I know. Now I'm just going to moisturize my lips with some chapstick because they were feeling a little, little crusty, a little crispy. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Baby Skin just right in the T-zone. I've been using this primer pretty much since it's come out and I think it's probably one of the best primers I've ever used not even just from the drugstore just like in general then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and my Revlon Color Stay Whip Foundation I have been using both of these a lot recently the Revlon Color Stay Whip I've been using for a while and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless I've been using more recently and I love them both they will both definitely keep you matte all day if that's what you're looking for that's pretty much what I'm pretty much always looking for so I'm down with it and then I'm just gonna blend it out with a damp beauty blender like I always do I say no to foundation brushes and you should too no I'm just kidding whatever works for you works for you <laughs> and then I'm going in with my Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and this one is in light I've been using this so much lately I am like obsessed with it like I can't use another concealer and I'm using it all by itself like this is just I feel like I'm in the twilight zone right now <laughs> So I'm just applying this everywhere that I like to highlight, underneath my eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose, everywhere I like that. You guys know the drill already and just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. I actually like doing my concealer before I do my eyebrows now just because I feel like it's so much easier. I don't have to like work around my eyebrows and be careful that I don't get concealer all up in my eyebrows or wipe away half of my eyebrow. So if you're having trouble with your eyebrows annoying the crap out of you, I would definitely suggest you do it this way. Then I'm going in with my NYX HD powder in the color Banana. And I usually really hate banana powders like Anastasia's and Kat Von D's and all those. I don't feel like they personally do anything for me. Like my concealer still creases all day or day. But this one actually really stopped the creasing and I'm very impressed. So I recommend this definitely. Then I'm going in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Black. It's literally just called black and I mean if you see here it's obviously not like black but my hair is black so I mean I feel like my eyebrows need to be a little bit darker than like you know the average person's eyebrows. I don't know but that's just me. I know a lot of people that have black eyebrows like they still don't like their eyebrows to be so did I say black eyebrows? Black hair don't like their eyebrows to be so black but I think I like it better a little bit darker and a little bit ashier so that's why I went with this color and I actually am really impressed with this brow pencil so I definitely recommend it. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just taking this on a MAC 212 brush just so I can carve out my eyebrows a little bit make them a little bit more on fleek. No I'm just kidding I don't say that. I don't say that no. <laughs> And then once I've got that done, I am also going to take some of that Fit Me Concealer just on this brush that I've been using for my eyeshadow primer lately, which I'm obsessed with. It's from BH Cosmetics and like I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm just going to prime my eyes with it and then set that with the banana powder as well. Then I'm going in with my Milani Bella Eyeshadow in Bella Mandarin. It's kind of like 
it's like a soft orange shade and on my skin tone this is like peach smoothie from makeup geek or one of those kinds of shades because peach smoothie is like just straight up white on me it doesn't do anything so this one works very well so i'm just applying this with a mac 224 brush all in the crease you know how it is this is like our transition shade before our transition shade oh, i don't know and then i'm gonna go in with probably my favorite eyeshadow in this entire look this is the l'oreal infallible shadow in amber rush this looks a lot like max tan pigment except i honestly like it a lot better i feel like the pigmentation is on point and there is not really a lot of fallout it's like a foiled eyeshadow almost it's so gorgeous so i'm just taking this with a smaller flat brush just all over the lid kind of avoiding the outer third because you know how I like to deepen that up then I'm going in with this NYX Avant Pop palette and I'm taking this like brown shade here and I'm gonna be honest with you I do not like this palette whatsoever I would not recommend anybody purchase this palette and I'm gonna tell you why these shadows are not pigmented in the slightest if you see you can barely see the brown on my eyes and what makes it worse is when I go in with the next shade I just I don't like it and I don't recommend it I'm sure there's better things you can use at the drugstore this was just what I picked up but I wouldn't recommend it then I'm going in with this black shade also from the palette and if you can see here it's not black it's like a light gray <laughs> and I'm one of those people who really likes a super defined outer V I want my outer V to be black if I want it black I want it black so I also could have went in with like a little bit of gel liner if I wanted to, but I just feel like the eyeshadow should have been pigmented enough where I didn't have to do that. Then I'm going in with that 224 with no additional product, just blending that out because blending will always be important. Even if the eyeshadow is not as pigmented as you want it to be, you still need to go in there and blend it out. Now I'm just reapplying that L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush just because I feel like when we added that light gray shade, it kind of just took away a lot of that pigmentation. And like I said, this is the star of the show, especially since this is the eyeshadow that performed the best. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. This is another one, not the same one. And this one is Ice Latte. This one is more of like a vanilla champagne color so i'm taking this with a very small brush and applying this on the inner corner since i did want this to be more of a summery look i felt like just highlighting that inner corner intensely was so necessary now i'm just applying my wing liner with my nyc liquid liner this is not special we do this all the time with the same liquid liner like i told you guys there's a lot of hidden gems at the drugstore and this is one of them i am so in love with this eyeliner i have been for so long and I mean, this just beats every other eyeliner in my opinion. So I'm just doing a wing liner. This is not special. Then I'm going in with that black again because, you know, when I do my wing liner, I like to deepen up my outer V again. And, like, you know, what is it really doing? Let's just be honest with ourselves. It's not the darkest black ever. I'm not trying to bash anybody. I'm just telling you guys the truth. I don't personally like this color. Then, Well, this palette, really. Then I'm going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I didn't have any drugstore mascaras because you guys know me and the Too Faced Better Than Sex were like best friends. But I decided to pick one up because, I mean, I needed one for this tutorial. And everybody was talking about this, this, about this, about this mascara. So I decided to give it a try and I guess I like it. It's not, it's not my Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I like it. I also just popped on the Demi Wispies by Ardell, which are also not my favorite lashes. <laughs> Just because I like so much drama in my lashes. And, I mean, they're demi wispies. They're not dramatic. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black or black is black or super black or whatever the color is. The black version. And I'm taking out an angles brush and popping this in my waterline because I do not have a pencil from the drugstore. So this will do. I mean, it, it works just as fine. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the black shade from the Avant Garde palette, which... It pops a lot more when it's on a black base so I guess if you have a black base and you're willing to work with that in your outer V then I guess this could work for you however I just don't I just don't find that that should be necessary for me to work with a black eyeliner I mean a black shadow so that's just that's just me then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and a little bit more of that Milani Bella Mandarin the first shade that we applied and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more just because it was looking a little stark and stark is not good i don't know i was trying to think of something that rhymed with stark but I, I don't know i'll figure it out but then i'm just gonna apply a little bit more of that mascara on my lower lashes and this is gonna be the finished eye look 
So you can see it's very summer appropriate and it's actually very wearable in my opinion at least. Very wearable. Then moving on to the face, I'm going with my NYC um, bronzer. This is the Sunny Bronzer. I almost said NYC liquid liner. I'm so used to saying that. <laughs> and I'm just contouring like I always do. This gets kind of repetitive after a while so we're fast motioning this. For blush, I feel like there is no competition in the drugstore. There is no blush quite like the Milani baked blushes. Maybe the next blushes are also like really good, but the Milani ones are my favorite. So I'm using Coralina, which is just like a bright coral shade that leans a little bit more on the pink side. And I love it. I'm using it with my Morphe blush brush that I keep talking about over and over again. And now I'm going to highlight. I'm using my Wet n Wild Shimmer, what is it called? Shimmer Strip or something like that. And it's in Hollywood Boulevard. And you guys, let's just, let's just be real with each other right now. If you want a highlighter that is super intense, like I do, this is the way to go. This is so cheap and so intense. I love this so much. I did feature this in one of my favorites videos and I just, I just love it. It's like Mac Whisper of Guilt, but on crack. It's amazing. So now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the darkest shade. I believe it's like deep tan or something like that. And I'm just deepening up my contour because you guys know I have to do this. That's just me personally. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Now I'm going in with the NYX Lip Pencil in Mauve, and I'm applying this all over my lips. I really like these lip pencils, and I like the colors that they come in. It's like a huge range, and they're so cheap, and I love them. So I'm just lining my lips and filling them in quite a bit maybe not maybe like 90% I'm filling them in then I'm going in with this NYX soft matte lip cream in the color London I have seen so many people on Instagram using this color so I picked it up because I was like I'm gonna wear this lip color in my drugstore video no matter what and I love it so much I love it it's like such a beautiful nude then I'm going in with lip gloss and I've also been seeing this lip gloss all over this is the NYX intense butter gloss in tres leches Oh my god, first of all, I love Tres Leches cake. Let's just talk about it. I'm Dominican. Obviously, I love it. But now, I'm just applying this, and I think this is such a beautiful color. Once I do this, I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. I'm just spraying this all over my face. We all know how to do this. And once you do that, then your summer look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check the description box for links to everything I was wearing today and links to previous videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!